Hey guys, today I'll be giving you a basic color grading tutorial, showing you how I usually color grade when I haven't got the time to use advanced color grading tools. I'll be doing this tutorial in Final Cut Pro, but you'll be able to find the same color grading tools in DaVinci Resolve or Premiere Pro. So let's get into this tutorial. First we are going to turn on the video scopes so we can easily check our exposure and white balance. We will be using the RGB parade. Now we'll go over to the color board to make color corrections before the color grade. First, we stretch out the shadows to zero on the RGB parade and bring the highlights to 100. Then we'll bring the saturation all the way up. We do this to make it really clear when the white balance is off. Now we'll use the master color adjustment to correct any white balance issues. We're trying to move this around up and down in the orange region or the blue region until we can see a balanced mixture of warm colors and cold colors. Once we have that set, we can reset the saturation and exposure. Your footage will probably look really flat right now with a near perfect white balance. Now we'll add another color board for the color grade and we'll turn on range check or zebras so we can see when we are clipping our shadows or highlights. From looking at the RGB parade, the footage is clearly overexposed. So we'll bring down the overall exposure until the zebras are just about showing in the darkest regions of the footage. To add a little more contrast, I'm going to pull down the shadows more and now I'll try and bring down the highlights to approximately 90 on the RGB parade as this shot was around midday. If your footage was shot around sunset or sunrise or in low light or indoors, you can have your highlights lower than 90. Somewhere in the range of 70 to 90 on the RGB parade works well. Now we'll use the midtones to adjust the overall exposure. For this one, I like to adjust it so it looks slightly underexposed, just a tiny bit. Now we'll move on to color. I like to start with the shadows, making them cool with blue colors. Then to create some color contrast, I'll move the midtones to the opposite direction of the shadows. This should make the skin tone stand out more as the opposite of blue or teal is orange, which matches skin tones. Now the highlights. We'll try teal first, but that looks bad with the clouds as it makes them all look blue. So we're going to try orange to warm up the clouds so we can get some separation between clouds and the blue sky. And for this particular scene, orange looks better. Now onto saturation. Starting with shadows, I like to bring them down slightly so the cool colors we added earlier are just about visible. If the shadows have too much color, it will look really unrealistic. And I'll bring up the midtone slightly to make the color stand out more. Then bring the highlights down to keep the colors looking natural. Since the clouds which are in the highlight region should be white or have a slight warm or cool color, but this shouldn't be oversaturated. Now we'll just add some black bars for that cinematic ratio if you're into that kind of stuff and we're done. This is how I like to grade my footage, giving it a natural look with some color contrast to enhance the colors. Hopefully this has helped you understand more about color grading and you can tailor this to create your own look. Thanks for watching guys, I'll have more advanced color grading videos coming soon.